In this tutorial, we will be using custom avatars for body tracking in Unreal Engine. We know that this is a very frequently requested tutorial, so we'd love to show you some ways of getting body tracking on these custom avatars. The pace for this tutorial might be a bit fast considering the number of steps it has and how manual it is, but feel free to pause and start as you wish, and if you get any success following this tutorial, feel free to share your results on our Discord channels. I've previously done a live stream on DAS avatars, so it's a longer run through with similar workflow if you want to follow that as well. As you know, 3D avatars come with different skeletons, weights, proportions, body shapes. So for those of you interested in bringing custom avatars into Unreal, you will need to first rig them with a skeleton. For this tutorial, we're just going to use a standard Mixamo rigged avatar. So I went on Mixamo and grabbed some of these characters, downloaded them and imported them into Unreal. Inside Unreal, I've created a new blank map for this to start. While you're importing the custom avatar, make sure to check import morph targets if you've already got any blend shapes in your characters. And for multiple avatars sharing the same skeleton, you will need to import using the same skeleton on your first import and keep the same settings. If you're using Mixmo standard rig, I've already created a specific animation blueprint for you to use with it. On the same Google Drive link, you should see a Mixamo VMC Anim BPU asset. Simply download this asset and drag this into your content folder in the project inside Windows Explorer. Next, you should see this U asset Mixamo VMC Anim BP in your content browser inside Unreal. Double click on this asset and to open up this blueprint window, on the top bar over here, you should see class settings. Click on class settings, and it is very important that under target skeleton here, you select the correct skeleton tied to your Mixamo avatar, same as your import, as it will be very likely that it will be a different name from mine. So make sure that you select the right skeleton and then compile and save this blueprint. Next, you will need to drag this Mixamo avatar skeletal mesh into a blank level. Under animation, select Use animation blueprint and use the same Mixamo VMC Anim BP as the animation blueprint. One additional component to add is to add the live link skeletal mesh animation component. This helps us see animation updated in editor without having to play the level. Now we can add VMC components to this level before we start running XR animator. For this, you will need to go to Content Browser, find VRM4U plugin. Inside VRM4U content folder, go to Util, Actor, Latest, and Sub. You should see a lot of blueprints here, and we will need three of these Actor blueprints from here. So follow me and drag two VMC receivers and one VMC tick into your level. Inside your level, select the first VMC receiver and change the port to 39539. The second VMC receiver should be the same and set at 39540. And now you can go ahead and run XR Animator on the Electron app and make sure that VMC protocol is on while you're tracking your body. Click on the first VMC receiver in Unreal Engine and hit server listen. And now you can see that the body is already updating according to the tracking in XR Animator. You can now fluidly switch between different avatars on the same skeleton while still running body tracking. Hope this tutorial helps and don't forget to comment if you have any questions. And again, please feel free to share your results.